feel the energy in this building. They are fired up for game one. Back with that after this. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Game one of the National League Championship Series. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Cincinnati Reds. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. Ready to go now, and today's starting pitcher, Ryan Pepio. What's the scouting report on him? He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. To the right side, Hill handles over to first. That's out number three. Marlins lead one. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. Back after this on the show. So one gone with a runner at third. Here's the veteran shortstop, Steve Rogers. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Roger. Come on, Danny, one time. Here we go. a base hit run scores two consecutive base hits for these guys here that was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat it jumped off so hard squared it up and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion now the Reds cleanup hitter Rolando Butler batting four the designated hitter. And he deals. Run around the goal. And ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. So one out with two aboard. Next for Cincinnati, Kyle Tucker. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Now one out to right. Rodriguez makes the catch. And there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Batting six. The third baseman. Alonso. So digging in, Alonso Rodriguez. Rodriguez. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. The next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. At this point, the clean inning is over. Got to settle in, focus on the hitter, and get out of it with minimal damage. On the ground, Mauricio collects it. Fires to first on the run. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but... Very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw, you know? Yeah, no question. So the batting order turns over. And now for the Marlins, C.J. Abrams, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And the right-hander deals. On the ground, two ball. The throw to second. Relay to first, double play. Welcome back. And now, Steve Rogers. 
Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The pitch. Fall off foul. In the air, left field, Knight makes his way towards it, calls it in, and there's one away. Christian Franklin, the next up for the Marlins. The Jones the on at first, first, nobody out. Franklin. Bounce to the right side, and it gets by him. Lead runner to second, so two on, and nobody out. Back here at Great American Ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a big power threat. Steve Rogers. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones. Great pitchers duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. Here's another look at the numbers from this shutout victory. Well, it takes a team effort to produce a shutout. I mean, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. 2-0 your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.